I'm Jenny Nichols, culinary coordinator at Central Market Mill Creek. Today we are going to make some steamed clams with fresh corn. This easy dish is delicious for all kinds of weather. I have two fresh ears of corn here and I'm going to start out by cutting the kernels off the cob. I like to lean the corn cob down towards the cutting board a little bit. This gives the corn kernels less distance to fall and makes the process a little neater. All right, I think I got it. So now I'm gonna take my corn kernels, just put those aside. And then I'm gonna take my cobs and I'm gonna scrape them. There's all this yummy, starchy, good stuff in here. It's kind of called corn milk. And if you take the back of your knife, not the sharp size, or you can use a spoon to do this, and you just kind of rub it, You'll see all that starts to come out. And I'm just going to scrape the cobs, just put it in a little bowl. And then we are going to add that to our clam broth in a little bit. You can make this dish substituting frozen corn. Just use the same amount of thawed frozen corn. And in place of the corn milk, you can puree about two tablespoons of thawed kernels. That corn milk adds some body. It's got some starch, so it adds a little body to the broth and also a really nice sweet corn flavor. All right, that's good. Okay, so now we're going to move to the stove. So I have my pot warming on the stove and I'm going to put just a little bit of olive in there, olive oil in there, just enough to kind of coat the bottom. And then I'm going to take my corn, pop it in there. And I really just want to warm it up a little bit. Especially when the corn is really fresh, doesn't need to cook very long. All right, so I think that's good for the corn. So now I have about half of a medium sweet onion diced up. Let's add four Roma tomatoes, about three quarters of a pound diced. Now we're adding one teaspoon roughly chopped fresh thyme. Now add one quarter cup roughly chopped basil. So once we have everything in the pot, we're going to add one cup of white wine and the corn milk that we scraped from the cobs. And of course, a little salt. The clams themselves tend to be kind of briny, so go light on the salt. And some fresh ground pepper. And we just want to let this all come up to a boil and then the clams go in. Make sure you check over your clams before using. You want to check them all and remove any that have broken shells. And then also give the colander a shake and rinse it under cold water. Any clams that don't close up tightly when you do that should be tossed. All right, so it's nice and bubbly and boiling now. I'm going to put my clams in. I've got about four pounds of clams. Oh, see, I got a broken one right there. There we go. And I'm just going to give this a stir. and put my lid on. And then you wanna leave the lid on there for at least a few minutes to let the heat build up. Once or twice while they're cooking, you can give the pan a little shake to kind of stir it, but try to keep the lid on until you think they're done. These guys are almost done, so I'm just gonna pop the lid off and see how we're doing. They look great. So I'm just gonna give them a gentle stir, and you just wanna make sure that all the clams are open before you serve. And if there are one or two that are still closed, you just pick those out. But yeah, I think we're ready to serve. So I'm just gonna ladle these into a bowl. I like to serve this family style with a great big loaf of crusty bread to soak up all the juice. Look at that. All right, and it's that easy. Steam clams with fresh corn.